10 coastal districts across India's Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha are on red alert for Cyclone Michong. India's weather office has sounded warnings of extremely heavy rainfall that can range from 200 to 250 millimeters in the next 24 hours. Landfall is expected early on Tuesday. Life in Chennai has come to a standstill as water inundated all major roads of the city. Commuters were spotted wading through neck-high water in that area as vehicles continue to collide with each other due to torrential waves. Rescue operations have begun around Chennai city to evacuate those affected. Boats were spotted with disaster response forces giving public service announcements. Water has also begun entering residential apartment complexes, leaving people virtually trapped in their homes. Rains have lashed parts of southern India since yesterday as a tropical cyclone began its approach. The region is now bracing for the cyclone to make landfall early on Tuesday. India's Met Office says that it is likely to move and intensify further into a severe cyclonic storm. Earlier, the low pressure area was over the Bay of Bengal. The system turned into a deep depression on Saturday. Here is the trajectory of the cyclone. As predicted by India's Met Department, the landfall is expected to happen on the coast of the state of Andhra Pradesh near the town of Bhatkla. Chennai City's airport operations have also been disrupted due to Cyclone Michong. A grounded plane on the tarmac was spotted amid rain as trained passengers stood waiting. People were also seen queuing at check-in and ticket counters. Given the intensity of the situation, the Indian Army has stepped in. Rescue operations are now being conducted by the Army in affected areas. Emergency food supplies for over 10,000 people are also being prepared and an additional 25,000 meals are being made available to the state's capital of Chennai. The Tamil Nadu state government has converted at least 400 private marriage halls to provide shelter to those affected. Rescue and relief teams of the Coast Guard, Army and Navy along with ships and aircrafts have also been kept ready on standby. The National Disaster Response Force has made 18 teams available to Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Poducherry. And 10 additional teams are kept as reserve in readiness. Relief camps are being set up and arrangements are being made to evacuate coastal regions if needed. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has assured the central government support to the affected states for rescue efforts. Authorities have issued warnings to fisher folk and the public not to venture out amid the approaching cyclone. The sea will be more rough, too, very rough, over southwest bay and south, uh, um, west central bay and uh, all along and along the uh, your, uh, north Tamil Nadu, Sandra, Andhra coast. Fishermen are next two to three days. Fishermen are advised not to venture into this area for next two three days. The name Mi Chong was suggested by Myanmar and it means strength or resilience. And for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Chennai. For more than 20 hours, the Chennai city is being lashed with heavy to extremely heavy rainfall. We're coming to you from near the Adyar River in Chennai. So you're seeing behind us a very huge uh, river that's going. Usually it's not this way, but uh, now the river is in spate because the reservoir that connects to this river has been opened up and a lot of water is being drained out to the sea as a measure of abundant precaution. So in Chennai, of course, normal and uh, routine life has been thrown out of gear because of the fact that this rainfall and disruption that it has caused has, you know, completely disrupted daily activities. The airport is shut for at least 14 hours today. The metro rail stations, some of them are affected. Many trains have been cancelled. We have to remember that for more than 20 hours, the city is being lashed with heavy rainfall, consistently with gusty winds, gusting anywhere between 60 to 80 km per hour. So that's the kind of situation that's prevailing here. There is the NDRF on the ground conducting uh, rescue operations and you know evacuating people from flooded areas. The Indian Army's um, 12th un uh, in Madras unit has also been roped in. They are also conducting the operations to rescue people from flooded areas. The Chennai Corporation, the police, they're all on the job to ensure that the damage is minimized. However, there is not much of a respite because this weather system is still yielding rainfall to Chennai and adjoining districts. Let's also remember the fact that this weather system, as per the IMD right now, is almost 90 kilometers northeast of Chennai. And thereafter, it is expected to head towards the Andhra coast. 
um, they say that at least for the next couple of hours, Chennai is expected to continue receiving the same amount of heavy to extremely heavy rainfall. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.